Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca Coley. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve some knotless braids by yourself. Okay, yes, by yourself. Okay, I did this by myself. All me, nobody else, no help, just me. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a simple video. It is very, very easy. Um, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of girls have like asked me, oh, would you mind dropping a video? And I was like, oh my gosh, why not? You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, I decided to drop a video for my girls and you know, teach you guys how you can achieve this hairstyle. Very easy. Um, for the video's sake though, I didn't like do the whole hair. I just did um, some parts for you guys so you guys can like, you understand, you can be able to grab it, understand it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And without wasting any time, we're just gonna jump right into the video. Okay guys, so the hair I'm gonna be using for this video is this pre-stretched hair, 24 inches. I got it from Amazon. Um, I'm not really sure what the name is, so I will um, include that in the description box below. So right now I am just, my hair is parted into like different sections. And these are the um, sections that I'm going to be using to braid my hair. Okay, so right now I am just applying some hair cream onto the pre-stretched hair. Um, and then I'm just basically straightening out the line for my hair. My hair is a little rough, you know. The, um, I've actually had these braids in for a while. And I decided to read like through the front part just for the video's sake. And by the way guys, I did do this hair myself. Um, I just wanted to like redo the front like I said just for the um, video's sake. Um, I know there's a lot of girls that, you know, would really like to know how to do knotless braids on themselves. And it's a really simple thing. Like, it's very simple. I feel like if you follow these steps that I'm going to show you in braiding the hair, I feel like you'll be able to do this on your own as well. So, basically what I'm doing right now is just dividing the hair into three. And I'm just going to start braiding. Um, so, if you really, like, just watch, you see how I literally attach the hair onto, um, the fake hair onto my real hair and I just start braiding um, I usually wait until I wait until I braid like a little amount and then I you know add on hair um, I can't really explain how I like add it so I feel like if you guys actually watch it it would be easier um, I literally just put the hair right on top of my own hair and I just braid over it like literally very easy very simple um, I felt like I felt like this add-on method is very easy for me. I know that there are other like add-on methods, but this one is the easiest one for me. And literally, I just keep doing the same add-on method like as I keep braiding. Um, depending on the size of braids that you want, um, you can decide. You know, small, medium, or large. For me, these are like medium-sized braids. And guys, by the way, I just want to remind you that I am not a professional, so these braids are not going to be the straightest. Um, they're not going to be smooth because, like I said, I am not a professional, so yeah, it's not going to be the best, but it's perfect for me. Um, so yeah, and I'm just going to keep braiding and I'm going to do the same step for each braid that I do. Um, when it comes to like the ending part, I don't like to like braid it all the way to the end. I actually like to just twist it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You're going to see me dividing the hair into two like right now, and I'm just basically going to twist it off. Now I'm going to be doing the second braid and um, right now what I'm doing is just you know placing the attachment first. I like to do this so I don't have to like keep going back and forth because you really cannot do that when it comes to knotless braids. Especially with the fact that you it is an add-on method. So yeah, basically the same steps, you're going to divide the hair into three, start braiding and then when I get to a particular like amount, like so basically I would say count to like four and that's when you should like add your hair. So if you just watch, literally the same method, just putting it right onto my real hair and I'm just adding it, like braiding on top of it. And to be honest guys, like this is like the easiest feed-in slash add-on method I've ever actually done. 
like before I thought I don't know there was a type of way I used to do it before and I used to struggle but like anyways like you can see the braid is not straight but it is tight like the braids are tight so I feel like regardless it still looks good even though it's not the best it's not the straightest but like I said before I'm not a professional so yeah this, this is the best that I can do on myself for right now um, I'm pretty sure if I keep like you know practicing I can for sure get better but for now this is this is actually like my second time doing this on myself the first time was when I actually did the hair it's like the whole hair itself but um right now this is my second time actually doing this so yeah I feel like compared to the first time I, I'm actually getting better And bam, we are done with the second braid. I really hope that this video was actually like really easy for you guys to like, you know, understand and how you add on. Okay guys, always remember to um, add hair cream into your hair just for like so it can stay um, moisturized and not dry. Um, I also do this a lot because I feel like it makes the hair look and appear neater so you can do that as well. okay ignore the fact that i'm dancing i was listening to music while i was doing these braids so i was a little hype you know um just testing out how it looks how it, making sure it looks neat and we're gonna get right into the fourth braid So now that you guys have seen the base of the basis of how I start, I'm just gonna go off camera um, and finish these because honestly it takes a long time and all that video recording, you know, all that shit is recorded on my camera and my mirror is like the camera right now. There's a mirror behind the camera, but like I can't really see because like I'm kind of far from it because of the camera. Uh, and I was trying to make this video as close as I could for you guys, but um. 
basically i have gotten these done so i'm gonna go off camera and i'm gonna go finish um these other ones real quick and then um it's about like one yeah one two three four five six seven eight so it's eight braids so i need to go off camera and finish that because i don't know i feel like as i'm like doing this on camera it's making me a little slow so i'm gonna go off camera real quick and then finish these and then show you guys how everything looks so i decided to show you guys my last two braids and to see how it would be if i was doing it from the other side um, of my head um i also wanted to like show you guys because I felt like this clip was actually really clear and it was like a lot easier for you to like actually see the way I actually add um, the attachment to the hair so yeah um I really hope this video was actually like easy for you guys to like you know learn how to give yourself not this braids and don't worry about my edges I know my edges are looking a little too rough but don't worry about that okay these edges are gonna be laid at the end of this video okay okay be showing you guys how to achieve this from the back um my back hair is a little little crazy so ignore the way it looks but for me i had to like literally braid that down because um my back hair has really weird growth especially like the back part like if you see like the lower part is so weird so i literally have to like braid down for me to like catch the whole hair together um and i'm basically gonna do the exact same steps um, even when cutting this hair out, I know it looks a little rough, but in all honesty, I was over it. I was just tired and I just wanted to be done. I had somewhere to be anyways, so I just wanted to be quick with it. Um, literally, it's just, it's easy when you cut out the hair, like when you part the hair, you just literally go straight line and it's literally the same thing going from the, from your, from the end of your hair to the crown of your head. So you're literally just cutting it out in a straight line just like you see the way everything is and literally it's so easy like it's literally so easy I didn't even see the point of even having to like you know do the hair from scratch but if you guys would like to see that then just let me know in the comment section below um yeah that's pretty much it I'm literally doing the exact same steps I did in front and I'm doing at the back Okay, y'all, so this video has finally come to an end. Anyways, make sure you guys do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, 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 okay? And I will see you in my next video. <laughs>